This is Duck Hunt. Sun. Summit Sun. I uh, can't read. That's my bad. Fun, and he loves that fear of his life so much. I see him do it all the time. Okay. It doesn't look like Sparky is playing this one too passively. He was in, he's getting in uh, Sun's face a lot. He's gonna call him Summit. He's getting in Summit's face a lot uh, in the beginning of this match. Now it seems like he's playing a little slower. Okay. Ooh, now Summit's the one reversing rolls. Going off of this edge guard with the back airs. Okay, air dodging in there with a down smash. Hmm. The way Sparky moves the cans and all of the projectiles on the stage is terrifying. He can come in so much space and like any given moment. But Summit is just... Summit's on a different level right now. Ooh, his projectile game is just going a little... Not really projectile game, he's just getting more off of when he's going in. And he managed to get a kill off it. I would say this game has been relatively... Uh, even in neutral, it's just that, like, Summit is getting a lot more off of what when he gets in. That can is super scary off stage. Although it is, it can be helpful since the, uh, the knockback is more up than out. So it can help recover. It's not in that scenario, he's at way too high percent. He's gonna take that. We are. Uh, Summit's got a bit of a lead here. See if Sparky can bring this back a little bit, slower to even. You see, Dotcom's really good at like catching people on there with that up air. That up air is just insane. And Sparky's wrapping up, racking up damage fast. Right. Using that can to cover the platform and just camps it out and waits for all the projectiles to clear away. Goes in for the grab. It's a lot of stage control for this. It does get thrown, but the can staying out is such like it's almost like its own character. I wish Sparky covers himself with his can. So amazing. He does it so well and so consistently. Okay. Knowing knowing what guns do what is really helpful in this matchup. No matter what character you play. Specifically like which one comes out super fast, which one's a little bit lower, which one's higher. They can be super helpful in this matchup. And this matchup's already like pretty crazy by itself. And I love how Sparky was just able to get so much pressure on Summit while just being off ledge, being off stage. Still able to keep the pressure up. But he hasn't been touched once and he's gonna get that kill off that new stock. We have a clean, even game. Okay. Sparky's playing this a lot back. He doesn't. He's not approaching unless he can find a really good opening to get a lot of damage off of. And normally those openings get set off play pigeons, which can do, which are really good combo tools for uh, Sparky. And it is. I feel so bad for Summit since uh, Sparky's just idle frame. Idle frames just like. Yeah. Idle pose or whatever. Just ducked under the uh, neutral B. I feel like that would be very detrimental in this matchup, but he tilted slightly down and was able to hit him that time. Okay. Yeah, these play pitches are gonna be really good for Sparky right now. He can combo it off the back air. He can combo almost anything out of it. He can do a lot of damage. Sparky's just running away with his own own top. And he's doing a lot of good work with it. Snipe from across the stage. Reflector's not gonna help him. 
Oh. Arceus is covering so many get-up options with their summit. Being able to get back really well. But, summit is now at kill, easy kill percent to most things, that's right. Someone's gonna have to find a way to get a lot of damage in without putting himself in too much danger. Ooh, that can, the can shenanigans are so good. You can hardly tell, because you see the can going one way, and then he starts shooting at it, and it goes the other. Mm. Alright, that was a really good game one for Sparky. <clears throat> Not bad for Summit, though. He kept that relatively close throughout the whole game. Alright. Uh, Duck Hunt doesn't like. Other than maybe, I don't know, maybe Smashville. But in this matchup, like, it <clears throat> almost doesn't really seem to matter, and it probably just comes down to preference at this point. Hmm. Okay. Three, two, and two. One, that gets to go. Go. I like that for both players. No one was really having a terrible time on this stage, so I understand. I think any projectile, like the top, not really like the top, any projectile projectile you have in this matchup is going to be really good because you can just knock out that can without putting yourself in that much danger. Ooh. That is a really easy uh, recovery. I shouldn't say really easy. That's a one of the easier recoveries to edge guard. <laughs> but I don't see... Oh, Rob. Definitely does have some tools to catch it. But with Sparky being as good as he is controlling the can, I don't see Summit having a lot of opportunities to edge guard Spike Sparky. Oh no, not the roll in. I don't I don't know what the right answer was there, but it definitely wasn't roll in. Those? Uppies. Those uppies from Summit. Just for like the movement. I have no idea what they are. I think they're like B reverse something. Every time I see it, it's like, wow, you shouldn't be where you are in this little time. Okay, so we find a way in. But Sparky quickly resetting. Okay. Sparky's gonna get back with almost free. Having a projectile like that that covers like a lot of space is really good because normally when Sparky does that second up B off of ledge, he'll have the can to cover him and he'll up B high, knowing that most people aren't expecting like the move right after it. Since uh, Sparky can act out of his up B. And Sparky is making the most of his first stop at 172, but has Summit at kill percent again. I don't know what the right answer is there. That looks like such an intimidating edge guard. Okay. All right, Sparky has taken two stocks off of his first stock, not losing anything yet. Sparky at ledge. Sparky doesn't seem to mind being at ledge that much, but I think he should start. Just because Summit's starting to pick up these ledge guards a lot more. Ooh. Gunman tumbling into the can. Sparky just has so much stuff in between him and Summit. But there's not a lot he can do to get in. He's got to play it really patient and pick his own openings really carefully here. Alright. Get up there from Summit. Catching the air dodges in. Ooh, What's he want here? Okay, he doesn't mash, so the up tilt doesn't connect, but he still gets an up air afterwards. It's really good. 
not gonna kill quite yet. I don't know if Sparky knows the optimal way to DI out of that. I don't know if anyone really does. But uh, at higher percents, that's gonna be really important. Although, not as much, I guess, in this game since he's up to stop. But if someone starts to bring this back, which I think he definitely has the potential to do. Spoke too soon. That was a really good up air coming from Sparkles. Duck Hunt's up air is absolutely insane, and I never hear anyone talk about it. It kills pretty early, combos into itself. But not sure it sounds. Kind of like, you know, every other up air. But, uh, I don't know, it just feels a lot better than most. All right. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that was winner's final, so we are going to best of three, or best of five. My bad. This is best of five. We are gonna see Summit not wanna go back to PS2 again, or do we want to change the character? I did see a little lag during that last game, so we might be asking for a lag check. I'm not really sure what's happening at all. I'm just speculating. That is my job. I volunteer for it. We're just taking a break. That's also a possibility. No, he's back in it. Summit's really got to make some. Okay. It's baiting me. I'm getting baited and I'm not even playing. That's really impressive, actually. Yep. Okay. Three times the charm? Question mark? Now it's Sparky. Now Sparky's doing it. That was definitely like a stage pick. Spark is changing the stage. Ready? Might have been asking for TSR. Although that wouldn't really apply here, I guess. I don't know, we'll see what happens. They go back to PS2. Okay, FD. I know Sparky actually loves FD. At least in the uh, other matchup. Well, we'll see. Let's see how this goes. I can imagine Rob also liking FD a lot. Well, I guess it's all about who's how much more comfortable on the stage. Looking for his opening, being really careful. Yet, yeah, Sparky's gonna get a massive amount of damage off of straight. Ooh, I can't. Blocking the top. I normally see projectiles block the can, but I've never seen a can block the top. That's actually kind of cool. I love how Summit just like catches the right from the gunman. I think that could be something really good in this matchup. We'll have to see if he can utilize it in these last few matches. Sparky will just keep dominating. Covering everything with this can, you know exactly what the summit's gonna do. He's covering it with the can. That angle is scary. It's almost like a Richter Belmont axe throw angle. Everything's covered. What do you do? What do you do? I think he just gotta perfectly time the reflector. Does it reflect the gunman's bullet? It's crazy. I think that's definitely happened in this match before and I've just missed it, but I always thought it would probably just reflect it. Oh, 
I love how Spark is just jumping away with his top gun. He can't really do anything with that. I'm just doing something with that right now. Getting some good damage on Sparky. Not too much. Sparky can live a bit. I'd... Sparky doesn't need any of his tilt attacks. He's just getting all of his beam moves right now. He can hold on to the top as long as he can. Two up airs. Keep him up. I can't believe this one is so good. Sparky again, almost lapping him in percent. Duck Hunt is on another level. Like, I, it's crazy. Alright, you can put pressure in. So, Damn it, Smash also putting in a decent amount of pressure on Bludge. Duck Hunt is just one of the scariest characters to fight against on Bludge. That was a great roll read from Sam. It almost called him Sam again, not his name. A great roll read from Summit. He really needed to get that stock off. And now he's got to get a decent amount of extra credit to bring himself back in this game. He is dangerously close to losing this stock. He has the top in his hand again. He's going to throw it right away. The conversion was so clean. But it's not going to kill just yet. But I have really good DI there. And there too. Not dying yet, but your can is going to do it. Ricky now has the top and is just going to sit back and throw off the dead tiles. Ooh, is he seeing the... Oh, I think he thought the... Uh, I'll put the can there. Not only is he good at like using this and I'm really good at using the play pigeon and the top all together, and that combination is just too scary. Summit can just not. It can do stuff, but it's really hard for him to get in. Without this top. Top, I think, is just like an important part of his game. Okay, and then this one runs in for the grab. Okay, he's fumbling to get the game in a good position, but he couldn't do it in time. Summit matches out. I pushed him into something. I thought he was going to maybe have time to up smash, but Sparky punished that pretty quickly. Right? He can to recover high and putting whatever else he can under that can to stop Sam from coming in. There it is. In the can. Sparky gonna take clean 3 0. Good commentary. Thank you, Gatsby. I'm trying my best. Uh, Duck Hunt is a really interesting character.